Hi, welcome back to My Table 3. I'm Carrie, and today we're going to make a low-carb version of the cheese dough. It's also great for a Trim Healthy Mama S. You'll need 8 ounces of shredded mozzarella. I have used cheddar when I was out of mozzarella, but the mozzarella does work best. And 2 ounces of room temperature softened cream cheese. Add those both to a microwave safe dish. And now we're going to stick it in the microwave and we're going to microwave them until they're melted. You'll do this in 30 second intervals, uh, stirring between each. I'll be right back. So I've got my cheese all melted. As you can see, it's very smooth texture. This took me roughly, probably about um, maybe a minute and 30 seconds. And remember, I stirred every 30 seconds. You don't want to overcook your cheese or it'll get um, brittly and stuff like that. We don't want that. We want a nice smooth dough. So to this, I'm going to add three-fourths cups of uh, blanched almond flour. I buy mine at Walmart. Um, you can get it at any grocery store nowadays, or if you can't, you can find it online. One large beaten egg. And I like to add two tablespoons of oat fiber because I like the texture that the oat fiber gives to the almond meal. Okay, once you get that added, stir it up really good. I also... If this dough is going to be for a savory recipe, like my chicken fajita ring, I also like to add uh, my favorite spices, like garlic powder and onion powder to the dough. But if you're doing that, obviously for a sweet recipe, you would not add that. And it's completely optional. The oat fiber is also optional in this recipe. You can totally leave it out and just do the um, almond meal. But like I said, I just like the texture. And also, don't confuse oat fiber with oat flour. Oat flour has more carbs and oat fiber is mostly fiber and so it has no carbs. I like to get in with my hands so make sure you have clean hands and you're just going to knead it. It is a little bit warm so be cautious. The key here is to get all these pieces of almond meal worked into the dough. You don't want a lumpy dough. You want it to be nice and smooth and even throughout. You don't want clumps of almond meal and oat fiber in there. Like I said, it is a little bit warm, so be cautious. And if you want to spray your hands with cooking spray, you can do that also. It helps. If your cheese gets too hard to um, knead or to work in, just heat it up for a few more seconds. I'm going to put this aside and grab some, just a sheet of um, wax paper and spray it so I can knead it. You don't, like I said, you don't have to knead it with your hands if you can get it all incorporated with the spoon, but it's easier for me to get it all smooth. Okay, once you get everything worked in, you have a nice, lovely dough like this. This dough would work wonderful for um, any kind of savory dish, maybe like a pizza crust. Um, this dough did originate from the guys over at the Fathead website. They use it for a pizza crust and it's delicious that way. And of course, over on Pinterest, you can find tons of new recipes these days for this dough. In fact, I'll link several of mine down in the description. And there you have it. This wonderful cheese dough. It's low carb, keto friendly, gluten free. Uh, and if you leave the oat fiber out, it would be grain free. So that's totally option, optional, like I said. Um, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed learning about this cheese dough. And I'll see you next time on My Table of Three.